What's going on everybody? I'm Leezy the Gifted. I'm a rapper and a producer and I'm gonna show you guys how you can make beats super easily with this amazing tool. It's called Splice.com. Uh, I'm not gonna give you an entire tour of Splice.com. I actually already have a video of that. If you want, you can check that out. But basically you just go Splice.com and uh, actually be dope if you use my link because then I think I'm gonna get some extra sounds. But this is an amazing tool. If you're a beginner producer, this is the way to do things. Um, you know, if you don't know music theory yet and you don't know how to play an instrument, this is great. All right, so we're just gonna jump right into it. Um, so I found this pack. Basically, the way Splice works is they have these packs of all these sounds, and you can basically download these sounds. You pay eight bucks a month. You download the sound, and then you can use it in your beats. Okay, so. Um, you know, and the only catch is you can't download this sound and then sell just this sound. You have to change it and add it to your own beat. So it's all good. So here's how it works. So I'm looking through all these sounds. I found this one little loop. Um, I liked it and I'm going to also download it, but I'll play it for you really quick. Cool. Not sure if I'm going to use that stuttering part. I like that first part, so I'm going to hit download. We're waiting for it to download. It should only take a quick second. Um, and then you go down here. There's a little splice icon. And boom. There it is. So now I already have my Logic Pro set up, but here's Logic Pro. Now, one thing I do want to point out is this is in, see how it says 146? That's the tempo. And then that right there, G sharp and then the little m is minor so it's in g sharp minor so 146 bam so now i'm just gonna grab this and drag this um just hit import so we're gonna hit the metronome oops hold on we gotta change that there we go nice I really honestly don't like this. I just don't like it. So we're just going to... Oh, sorry. Let me go a little slower. Sorry. Let me backtrack. So I didn't like this whole second part. So I did highlighted this. I did Command T. That's how I split it. I clicked that. I deleted it. I clicked that. I hit Command C and then Command V. Copies and pastes. Then I highlight it. I hit Command J. Hang on a second here. Just create. And it joins them together. Next option, what we could do, which, you know, a lot of producers think, oh, this is cheating. If you don't do this, you have to chop it and sample it. Uh, you really don't. So we could chop it up and sample it, but I'm going to honestly just keep on going. I'm going to quick EQ it. Just took out some high end. Take out some low end. And the reason I do that is because, you know, a majority of the frequency, you could see how it pops up. And there's that crackling sound. I don't like all that. The other thing too is right here, all of this space, that's where the vocals are going to go. The vocals are going to take up, you know, probably from 1K to 20K. So why do you need that here in this sound when you know the vocals are going to take it up? With the low end, your kick is going to be going till about 100 to this 20 range. And, the, and then your 808 or your sub is going to take up here. So why do you need all this? already know to ask why Vito. and you know what we could do we could reverse it so you hit you would hit the scissors here you would hit file you'd hit functions and you'd hit now i do this all the time this is one of my favorite things now listen to how it sounds that's what we're gonna do there we go cool so now we didn't just take the entire sound and do nothing with it you know oops made the wrong kind of track now we have really you know we've really done something to it so i'm gonna hit the plus we're gonna bring up our drums we're just gonna get moving here and i might throw the 808 this is gonna be pretty quick though um right now i'm not gonna be picky with the drums i kind of just want to show you guys how easy this stuff can really go um you know another cool thing about splice is you can get a lot of great drums from splice and real ass producers like see how it says boy wanda so i didn't just name that boy wanda 
Boy Wanda himself uploaded those drums. If you don't know who that is, that's the guy who produces a lot for Drake. Google him. So I'm going to use the Boy Wanda drums. Cool, I like this clap. I'm not very picky. So we're going to go ahead and hit record, and we're going to hit this clap sound on every third count. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, pretty simple, right? And then I quantize it. I'm going to hit Command D. Copies the track. D for duplicate. So now I have the Boy Wanda drums again. I'd like to throw the hi-hats in. Now there's this really cool tool called note repeat that you can do in Logic, but you know what I think what I'll do is I think I'm actually going to naturally play the hi-hats for you guys. Let's get it. Let's try it out. If it doesn't sound good, I'll do something else. Now I'm going to hit command I'm going to just literally hit Q on my keyboard. Watch what happens when I hit Q. See how they move? So let's hear how they sound that just snap them in place, but it might not be what I want. So let's hear it. So right there, those ones at the end didn't sound the way I wanted. That's because these ones were played as triplets. So I'm going to I'm going to just quantize those as triplets. That's cool. Right, I'm going to pull up another clapping sound, another like a like a snare. That's going to go along with the, with the original clap. All right, here we go. Just little accent notes, nothing crazy. So the main one, I like to name it the clap. And then the, not the clap. <laughs> and the other one is the snare. Uh, and I'll... I'll pull the snare and these are the hi-hats. So I don't know if you'll be able to hear the panning, but I, you know, you guys kind of see that I do a little bit of light mixing while I make my beats. So my snare, I'm going to have go off to the side. It could go left. It could go right. doesn't matter. Just kind of pull it anywhere between 10 and 20 maybe. And then just take, I like to take the hi-hats and go the other direction and spread them out. Your clap, you want the clap going middle. Keep the clap going middle. I'm not sure where we're going to pan this yet, but keep the clap going middle, okay? Yeah, I'm going to turn it down a little, but that's pretty good. Um, okay, let's keep going. Let's throw a... Let's do a kick. Let's throw a kick in there. I can kind of, I can kind of imagine already what kind of kick I want to use, and I know just where to find it. You know, there's this really good drum pack in Splice called Codeine Drums. I know it's kind of a corny name, but it's actually like some of the best drums. Yeah, it's really good drums. I've I've used these for a long time. You know what? I like to just record and see what happens. Let's get it. Pretty chill. I know it was clipping at first. That's cool. Don't trip about it yet. I think you'll find, I mean... Maybe this is just me, but kicks are some of the hardest. The kick is one of the hardest instruments to tame. Uh, it's a very loud, very prevalent instrument. So I like to get that. You see the EQing I did. I grabbed this and took it and took out all the high end. This is low end. And you might be thinking, well, why'd you take this low end out? Because anywhere between 20 and 50, it's kind of just white noise. You know, really the the kick is happening here between that 50 and around 200 mark. 
Now, you can tell that this is definitely a clippy kick. Um, so I'm going to even just bring that down. You know, and I'm sure in your headphones it's not going to sound great right this second, but that's fine for now. Sweet. All right, next thing we're going to do, and this honestly might be the last thing. Um, we're going to do an 808. So if you're not wearing headphones I, or earbuds, I think now would be the time to grab them. Now, here's the deal. See how it says G-sharp minor? Here's a little trick I do. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I literally Google what notes are in G-sharp minor. Now, I'm a music theory person, but like personally, I don't know anything about the minor chord system, so I don't know. So what I like to do is I literally like to look up G-sharp natural minor. Bam. So like now I know which notes... All right, I think we get it. Now I'm going to try to match up the 808 and the kick. Let's see what happens. Sweet, I literally just played two notes. Now what I like to do, I like to just solo these and hear how they sound together. Now, again, I'm turning stuff down. I'm, I'm, you know, kind of figuring out the relationship. The big thing, um, the relationship between the kick and 808, man, it's tough. It's really tough. I think what I'll do is make another video. I don't want to do it right now. Another video on how to mix your 808 and kicks together. But honestly, it's not for right now. If... You want to have a if you want me to make a video on mixing beats, you should comment below because I will do that. But I need to know if people want to do it. On my end right now, it sounds pretty good. I'm sure in your headphones, it's not that great just from hearing what we got. But I, I it does sound really good. I like to just put G sharp. So. so here's the next thing. I will give you this one mixing tip though. This is how I figure out the balance between everything. Turn everything down. How did I get this? By the way, hit the letter X on your keyboard. The first, the first thing we're going to go priority wise, we're going to play them. You can't hear anything. We're going to turn the kick up until it's at a good volume. Okay, good. Next thing we're going to do is actually the clap. Now the 808. You want to pay attention right here. You don't want this to go too high yet. Nice. Let's get that hi-hats. I think that's good. Let's get the snare. Turn this down a bit. And then here we go. We can arrange it. Hey. I got one more thing I want to add. I have this little thing. It's called Vocal Runs 2. This is sick. We're, it's, we're just going to add a little vocal sample in here. Random. Actually, wait. Major kick? Let's go with minor. Something in the minor. Yeah, minor. Let's throw a little bit of craziness on this sample. 
Whoa, crazy. I did not hit Command S. Let's save the beat. Gosh, dang it. Um, lonely days. Lonely days. <laughs> cool. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Hey, if you guys are enjoying this, drop a like. Just EQ this really quick. I might pull a little bit of that high end back. I can dig it. We're going to do some reverb. This is actually just... Show you guys how that sample ended up being sounding like. How it sounds in the background. Yep. Quick little beat, man. Hey, appreciate you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so that you get notified. I put out a YouTube video every single week. I'm putting out videos for producers, rappers. I'm doing marketing stuff. I'm doing mindset stuff. Yo. If you have anything specific you want to see on the channel, you should comment below and I will probably make a video for you. I like helping people. I like making videos for people. So if you want to get on splice.com, click below and sign up. If you're a rapper watching this and you want five free beats, all you got to do is go to fivefreebeats.com or click below. The link will be right there for you. All right. Appreciate you all so much for watching it and uh, have an amazing rest of your day. I'll talk to you next time.